I'm interested in using something like floral arrangement, which has been over history kind of relegated into, you know, the feminine sphere or the domestic sphere, but arranging it in such a way that feels much more aggressive to how it might be originally interpreted or conjured or associated. It's actually what drew me initially to cut paper as well, which historically has been kind of a feminine craft. It also has a lot of potential to be something, you know, kind of much more beyond those sort of limited expectations. I'm just interested in kind of breaking up or breaking down or pushing back against these kind of limited ways of looking at craft and also, you know, nature. When I look at source material for the work that I make, I look at a lot of other artists and writers' uh, interpretations of the natural world and love looking at kind of early 1900s and earlier before the camera kind of takes over as the main way to document the natural world. I find that when artists and naturalists were drawing everything by hand, they get it wrong a lot uh, because, you know, we're human and we, we're not machines. There's sort of human error that runs through those drawings and actually makes them very beautiful. I like the human error and I actually think the human error is really um, revealing of uh, something deeper, which is like this impulse to kind of connect and place oneself in the larger world around them. The real, especially with the installation works, the real creative process truly happens on site. So I make a lot of um, kind of individual pieces before I arrive, but then all the kind of configuration and composition and figuring out how the work is going to grow in a space is, it's not pre-planned, it's very improvisational. So I'm interested in kind of deconstructing old symbolism that we've through time tended to attach onto nature or gender. And there's an interesting connection to the, the floriography, um, floral dictionaries, is that they were used by both men and women, but used more frequently by women because women were restrained much more in how they could actually express anything direct and, uh, you know, they had a very limited allowance for what they could express verbally. Even though my installation isn't like a direct illustration of the real natural world, my hope is that, you know, people can come in and kind of maybe have a renewed sense of how they might go out and experience real nature. If people can kind of come in, think about nature in the context of my work, if that thought lingers as they leave the work, then the hope is that it might kind of manifest and linger along enough with them that they kind of take that back out into the world and think about the world around them in a slightly different way.